Welcome to our thermal imaging mini series. We're going to talk today about the value of a decision making camera in fire attack. Many firefighters do a great job of extinguishing fire today in America. We're, we're really good at deploying our hose, really good at the fundamentals. However, one of the things that is left out is being able to see the target. When I was taught to fight fire as a young person, I was taught I had a senior firefighter directing me on the way, guiding me, helping me, using that experience and wisdom to share with me on where to go. But I can't tell you how many times the following things have happened to me. We couldn't find the fire, we stretched the line the wrong place, and we were flowing waters completely in an area that was untouched by the fire with just residual smoke. Now I have a device and hopefully a senior firefighter behind me that shares this vision and says, the fire is to your left, flow water if you're 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. This can take care of a lot of the problems. We can go straight to the fire, we can put it out faster, we can create less water damage, and we can get that citizen back in their home or into their business faster than ever before. So why are we not using this? Here's my problem, and I want you to help me with this. I don't care what nozzle you use. I don't care which denomination you're in. Whether you're a smoothbore Baptist, combination nozzle Catholic, I want you to send water downrange and baptize that fire, and you can't do that if you can't see it. You can read smoke, but you can't read heat. The one device that allows you to do that is left on the truck because we have these misnomers about it failing us. If you would simply do a 360 and look and see the problem, even if the camera failed you at that point, you at least know where you're going. And when you get in a car, you look both ways before you cross the street. You go into a burning building, use the camera to find the problem and mitigate it. That's what we're asking you to do. It's not that hard. It's not that complicated. But we simply ask you, what did you swear to do when you took the oath? And what are you not doing to make that happen? This is on us. This is called nozzle negligence and us being complacent. And that's one thing we are all against. Make sure you use that intelligent aggression. Learn this. Put out the fire, do it faster and better than ever before, but do it because you now know how to do that right. There's no sense in arrogance and ignorance. Let's make sure we learn these things and use them the best way we can. Stay intelligently aggressive and remember what we swore to do.